After identifying the problem area on the load carrying side of the belt, prepare to install the two track prop tracker at or just before the problem area, ensuring that it is installed before transitional idlers and after loading chutes. Warning. Before proceeding with the installation, ensure the conveyor power is switched off and locked out to avoid accidental startup during the installation. Remove a standard tropping idler frame where the true track trough tracker is to be installed. Remove the wing rollers from the true track trough tracker. Very important. Ensure the true track trough tracker is installed in the correct direction. The wing rollers, once installed, must touch the oncoming conveyor belt first. Fit the true track trough tracker on the structure. Partially tighten the mounting bolts for the L-shaped bracket. Knock both brackets fully forwards or backwards to ensure the L-shaped brackets are perpendicular to the structure. Once completed, tighten all bolts. Adjust the height of the true track trough tracker by loosening the height adjustment bolts and moving it up or down one hole at a time until there is sufficient tension between the belt and the center roll. This may result in the true track trough tracker being slightly higher than the existing standard idlers. Sufficient tension is achieved when the center roll is manually pushed backwards and forwards and the movement is reasonably stiff. If it moves easily backwards and forwards, there is not enough tension. Ensure the true track trough tracker is centered on the structure by adjusting it until the distance between the mounting bracket and the end of the protruding square tubing are equal on both sides. Then tighten the retaining bolts. Before inserting the wing rollers, Align the sliding brackets perpendicular and to the outer edge of the flat bar. Tighten the inside bolts completely, but partially tighten the outside bolts, thus allowing the sliding bracket to swivel. Insert the wing rollers into the bracket, ensuring the end of the shaft is flush with the bottom of the bush, and the wing rollers clear the flat bar by plus minus 10 millimeters, thus allowing the rollers to rotate freely. Swivel the wing rollers upwards until only approximately 100 millimeters of the wing roller is touching the top outer section of the unloaded belt. Important, do not swivel the wing rollers excessively upwards or they will start to lift the belt off the center roll. Recheck the tension between the belt and the center roll. If you are satisfied with the amount of tension, tighten the height adjustment bolts. Otherwise, adjust until sufficient tension is achieved. Ensure the angle of the wing rollers is similar on both sides. Then swivel the roller onto the misaligned side of the belt slightly higher and drop the opposite wing roller by the same amount. The distance between the end of the flat bar and the sliding bracket should be the same on both sides. Finally, tighten all bolts. Before starting up the conveyor, do a manual test. Move the wing rollers backwards and forwards to ensure that both wing rollers remain in contact with the belt throughout the motion. The wing roller on the opposite side should lose some tension against the belt during the motion. If not, adjust the sliding bracket accordingly until the correct contact is achieved. Installation is now complete. Remove all tools from the work area and start the conveyor. The two track prop tracker should immediately activate and center the belt. Caution. Danger. Take care. Do not attempt this procedure if it conflicts with any safety regulations. Manually test the two track trough tracker by pushing the outside of the tracker fully in one direction with a blunt object and then releasing it. The two track trough tracker should automatically center the belt. Repeat this test by pushing the outside of the two track fully in the opposite direction. If installed correctly, it should centralize the belt from both sides. Troubleshooting. If the belt is still misaligning to the same side, stop the belt. Swivel the roller on the misaligned side slightly higher and lower the opposite roll. Tighten the bolts. 
restock the belt, and retest. the roller on the misaligned side slightly higher. Do not adjust the opposite roller. Tighten the bolts. Restart the belt and retest. If the problem still persists, Adjust the existing standard trough idler frames perpendicular to the structure before and after the two-track trough. Remove any other tracking devices in front of or behind the two-track trough as they will reduce or interfere with the performance of the two-track. If you have a 45 degree troughing angle on the belt, you will also need to adjust the sliding brackets on the flat bar inwards in order to achieve ideal contact on the wing rollers. Important for severely misaligned belts. After installation, if the tracker remains kicked in on one side and does not centralize the belt adequately, adjust the L-shaped brackets forwards or backwards until the shaft is in the center of the inner tube. This is to ensure equal movement to both sides. <laughs> 